All right, everyone, welcome back. This is Ryan. Um, it, this is a second video in a series dealing with Zencart. Now, as you remember, Zencart is a program that allows you to be able to sell products online. It lets you create your own online store. Now, if you haven't watched the prior video, I want you to watch that first. That's how to install Zencart through an automated process to make sure that you install it correctly. And how you can see it is you can go up to your address bar and go to www. and then the letter U and then savedomains.com. And when you get over there, if you scroll over here to the right margin and scroll down a little bit, you'll see a bunch of other videos here. There's some here on WordPress, Joomla, Drupal, and then Zencart. And there will probably be more on Zencart by the time you head over there. Now, one other thing I want to point out is if along the way you feel Zencart's a little bit cumbersome, a little bit more advanced than what you're comfortable with, if you scroll down on our home page, you'll see right here we have another shopping cart software program. And there's a preview button here. And this is a templated program. It also allows you to sell products online. All you have to do is choose a template, upload your photos, upload your prices, and you'll be off and selling. So that's the other program that's available to you. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can log into the backend admin section of your new Zencart installation. So I'm going under the I'm going down the assumption that you've already installed Zencart like you did in the first video. And here is what it looks like. Here's what it should look like live on your website. This is the default installation. But we're going to need to log into this area into the backend admin to start to modify it and change the look and feel of it. So I'm going to show you how you can get the link for that backend admin section. So I'm going to go over to you save domains and I'm going to log into my account. I'm going to head into my hosting area. And you will see over here on the left side margin my products. If you don't see it, just click on my products until you see white links. Click on hosting some stuff will fluctuate around a little bit and then ultimately you will see your hosting plans right there in the middle of the screen I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna click launch next to my active hosting plan now keep in mind if you have to watch the video a few times that's fine these videos are here 24 hours a day to help you learn now this is the hosting dashboard that we showed you in the first video so what you'll want to do is you'll want to scroll over here to the right side under applications and go down and click on Zencart and here is my installed Zencart but I'm gonna also need to go over here and click on manage my applications this is where this will show the applications that I have currently installed but you can also access it from right over here on this tab my applications and there it is here's the one we installed yesterday I'm going to click view and manage details and right here under admin URL that is the back end to my Zencart. I'm going to click, well what you want to do is you want to load it up but you'll also want to bookmark it so you can get there a lot quicker than having to do all this each time and I'm going to log in now let's see if I remember my login There it is. Here is my back end of Zencart. I've got no products installed yet, but this is where I'm going to be doing everything. And there's lots of categories here to modify and change. But I'm going to go over all of this in the third video. So head over to You Save Domains, and you can watch the third video now. If you like this video, if you think these videos are helpful, please give us a thumbs up if you're watching it on YouTube or wherever you're seeing it at. Or if you're a Facebook member, please like us. That'll help us out and let other people know about us. And that's it for this video. Um, I'm going to go over now and start working on the third video. Thank you.